Hey dear love, I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, and welcome to your October Spiritual Guidance. This is your career focus. Watch out for the love focus and the health focus. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do about two and a half minutes of the Earth's energy, of the Spirit's energy, of the universe's energy. And then we're going to dive right into your personal star sign, moon sign, all of those signs energy all right so this is a month of sexual tension rechannel that to be productive and work for you all right you might just be needing to work on your own body get to learn yourself your hormones might be changing there's a lot of anger a lot of blow-ups waiting to happen so when you see people fidgeting get out of their way if you're the one that's fidgeting go rechannel that go work out go for a walk work with your hands and create something powerful and divine there's a lot of movement, a lot of a need to just function and to just be. So channel that into any kind of useful energy such as meditating, chanting, um, playing music, running, working out, playing with the kids, okay, playing a, a self game, whatever you need to do. But regenerate that, in, that energy. Um, there's a lot of anxious energy out there. Work on your goals. Uh, be determined to be successful. Become that business owner that you keep dreaming to be. The energy is there for you to succeed this month, but you've got to do the work. If you're trying to cut corners, it's not going to work. Power plays are out there. Don't be the one to get got, okay? You be the one to stay empowered in your authority, your personal authority, meaning self-develop. Be in charge of you. Make the changes you make within yourself. Don't try to force it on someone else, okay? The delays are real. Keep an eye on your keys. If the car is messing up, go get it checked out. Get second, third, seventh opinions. If you have to make a large purchase that you have not been researching, make sure that you bring someone you trust. Bring them in on the deal. Tell them the, what's going on. Trust them because they are your blessing in disguise and what they say is a message from the divine. Frustration is real. Disappointment is real. The shakeups are real. So watch your money. Reposition, refocus, re-strategize. Here you listen to this, okay? The peacemakers are causing waves. There's some that are lying. There's some that are real. You must use your intuition this month, okay? Get off the fence, make that choice to be successful, and you will be absolutely good. If you lie your way forward, you will fail, you will fall on your face. And spiritual superstars, you know that we don't ever want you to fail. We want you to be successful, and Divine Source truly does have your back. All right, let's get started. Hey, dear Sagittarius, take a beautiful deep breath in. Raising your vibration. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Sagittarius, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Honey, you have the right to do what you love for a living and have fun doing it. And anybody that's telling you different, there's a lot of jealousy around you, I feel. But there's a lot of innovation, too. And so you got to let the haters do what they're going to do. And you've got to tap into where spirit is sending you because your blessings are like opening up like crazy. And at the end of the day, at the end of this month, I feel like you're going to really see what's healthiest for you. You know, who's healthiest for you? What kind of, what kind of position is opening up that's healthiest for you? And just know that you know, you don't have to live without that happiness, without that help. All these things that you've gone through have made you who you are. But don't you dare go back 
to thinking you've got to go back to the past. You've got to go backwards at all because you don't. Turn yourself around and look towards the future. The only thing that's missing here is the dove of peace. So remember that in order for you to get that peace, you just simply have to remember who you are. And you've got to remember who has your back. Divine Source has your back and always will, no matter what. No matter who has shown up as an enemy, a frenemy, no matter who has totally shown their colors to really let you know, oh my goodness, they really don't support me. No matter how deep-seated your own hidden fears and shadowy self of showing up as your own worst enemy are. Spirit is always going to replenish your soul. You are the soul within your human and the Holy Spirit lives inside of you. So you don't even worry about what seems to be missing in your life because it's coming. Heavenly angels, please get this clear for dear Sag. Thank you so much. It's coming, Sag. You just have to believe, okay? You have to remember that you deserve that type of celebration every time you go into the job or every time you work on your own business no matter who is around you that's not supporting you spirit supports you so you come into this month with this release a need to detach from doing work that isn't pleasing you that's not happy and any kind of imbalance towards your kids, if you're not able to spend time with your family, really your kids, really the kids in your life, the young ones, and your partner, if you're not able to really balance that work-life balance, then harmonize in a different way, but continue to seek it. Because mid-month, there's a new moon in your energy of career, and you're able to establish your footing and really get it in there so that you can say, this is how I'm going to do my day-to-day. -day. This is how I am going to live my life and build my business. And this is the, this is the, this is the schedule for my job, that you're going to give them your schedule instead of letting them decide when you come into work, when you don't. If you're on CBA, meaning you work C shift, B shift, then during the day, A shift, right? You're going to be able to tell your boss, you know what? I can't do that anymore. I'm not seeing my kids. My kids are homeschooling. Thank goodness that I have my spouse or thank goodness that I have their grandparents there that can help them and help me, but they're limited and I need to be there. I can only work uh, B shift or I can only work a, because I have to be there for my kids at the time that they need me. Whatever it is that you need to work. Maybe your kids are having nightmares at night, you know. Maybe they need you there, and you need to be there at home when they wake up. You're going to be able to tell your, your management. You're going to be able to change your schedule, but it's going to start with you saying that. But I feel like many of you are business owners. Thank you so much. And so you're going to be changing your schedule, I feel, to fit what's healthiest for you. And I feel like many of you are starting to look more into meditation, yoga, more into getting out in nature, and all of the natural medicinals and ways of life to help you come into this homeostasis. Your home means everything right now. And yes, you absolutely deserve to be working from home in the way that you want to. You're carving your mark. You're setting your footprint. And this is legacy for you. And so those emotions that emerge are real. But let them come up. Let them surface. Because again, you're stronger. And you've got to go through that struggle in order to get to your goal. But who's got your back? That's right. You can say the universe has your back, 
you can say God has your back, but it certainly is true that the higher power that we worship has your back, your front, in every which way you are exposed. So you're going to leave October, I believe, with an awareness that what you write down in your journal, whether you have one right now or not, I want you to get one. And you don't have to make it fancy. You can get some paper and that be your journal. Is what's healthiest for you in your career life. And it's not always about the money. It's what makes you happy. It's what brings you peace. It's what allows you to help other people. Starting with your children. Starting with the young ones in your life. And that is serious for you. And you deserve that. And yes, here's your confirmation. And of course, if I can give you a personal reading, click the links down below. I'm happy to do that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And, and you're going to be met with an obstacle, but you are safe. You are supported and you are protected. Let me tell you that now because Spirit is showing that all the way for you. You are safe to go in this direction, to speak up for yourself, and to really change that trajectory. It's okay for you to do that. It's okay for you to let go, let God. It takes practice. But we know that when we practice something, we get perfect at it. As perfect as, perfect as we can be, right? Well, we still lean into, we lean into that relationship we have with our Creator. We let God love on us through the storm. Sagittarius, working with children makes you happy. But you know what? You have the right to create the type of business that you want. And I see, I feel some of you, I see you wanting to work with children in nutrition, uh, dietary. And that's a big deal. You can do that. And this is in your higher self. That energy is what you're all about, is spirituality. The oneness with divine source. And for you to receive the crown chakra here, be reminded that this is enlightenment, consciousness, your purpose. The wisdom that you've gained because of the knowledge you've obtained. Absolutely, your grounding in spirituality and spiritual guidance, unity, oneness, but expansiveness of your creative prowess. This is the seventh chakra. This is universal consciousness, which is outside of our physical body, our human. And this represents your collective energy. Okay. But remember that the idea and the energy of the seventh chakra is that we vibrate here in such a powerful way that it keeps us connected to all of humanity and so you're able to serve the masses with such clarity by making those small steps that you're being guided to take right now because we know Children is a big biggie for you, and you have to take that next step. And so she shaman says, I will guide you to your muse. The legend here is, in a time before history, she shaman walks the earth, bestowing artistic talents on a selected few. One day, she rests under a birch tree. Hey, says Birch, I want my muse too. 
Birch entertains Shisham and for a long time, singing and telling tales, Shisham and smiles. My great friend, you have had your art all along. She vows that from then on, she will give everyone their own gift. To this day, she shaman has never left us. We see her inside every creative work. Your inspiration to meditate on, dear Sag, is your path is an artistic one. Express your love in a tangible art form. It is time to make decisions. Your personal inquiry to meditate on is, am I waiting for someone's permission to create my life? What do I need to do? What do I need to see in order to claim my own gifts? Key ideas to meditate on are opening to magic, lasting transformation, divine feminine, of which we all have, awakening creativity, finding your muse, owning your spiritual gifts. And key words to meditate on and to build your affirmations on are creativity, muse, and magic. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. What surfaces has to... That energy had to be released. That those words had to be said. Don't regret it. Apologize what you need to... Say what you need to say. But move on from it and respect that others can't quite move from it as quickly as you can. But you are the leader, you are the example, and you have to be the example for others that are not as strong. And you are stronger because of your connection with Divine Source. Mid-month. Around the 16th, you have that new moon in your hopes, wishes, and dreams, and Spirit wants you to use it to help your dreams come true that absolutely solidify the inheritance that you will leave your legacy. The business that you are in is going to be successful for most of you. Many of you, you, you need to keep going and focus on that one path. Some of you, you know, you're already there and it's time for you to branch off. But it is going to support you. But you, the ones that are really, and you know who this is, you know who you are, that keep feeding fear. You keep being afraid to take a risk. And I feel like it's because of the people that you are listening to. Come on into the fold in our Purpose Driven Group on Facebook, Spiritual Guidance Academy Purpose Driven Group. And, uh, you know, listen to some positive information. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Get around people that are going where you're going. Because your hopes, wishes, and dreams are coming true. But you can very well manifest a negative prophecy here. And we know that the star energy is our hopes, wishes, and dreams. And uh, that is your energy mid-month. And so balance it out. Balance your desires against your circumstances. And know that the reality that you live in each and every day, okay, dear love, is the lie. Your dreams, your hopes, your wishes are the truth. It's okay to cry. It's okay to hold on to that. Don't you dare let that go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All the hard work that you put in will always be worth it. Keep your focus. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Spirit is so proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank 
Thank you so much. This is for specific people right here. This is for specific people right here. And you just listen. Listen to this. My goodness. You are allowing, many of you are allowing your future to hold you back. I mean, your past to hold you back. You're, you're still letting the past hold you back. You need to tell the past to do this. This is for some people, and you know who I'm talking to, okay? You know who I'm talking to when you're ignoring all of the spiritual messages, the synchronistic messages that are coming from other people, that are coming from the posts, that are coming from the videos that you're hearing, you're seeing, you're vibrating in it, and you quickly dismiss it because it touches that part of you that you've got to let go of, and you're allowing your ego to take control. This only is a certain amount of people, and then we're going to do another reading just for the other people who are not going to let that happen, who are focused on the future, who are absolutely in that mindset of creating the wealth that you truly deserve in this lifetime. For those of you that are holding on to the fear, Spirit wants you to know that the celebration is there. The ability for you to start over is there, but you're fearing making that step, taking that step in the right direction, and you're fearing doing it with the integrity that Spirit's telling you to do it. You won't go through that door, and you know right, you know quite well, you know full well that that is not your given energy, right? You are the one that goes through that door without anyone ever telling you to do it, but what you're doing here is hanging on. You're going to be the last man standing, the last woman there. In this situation, what I feel Spirit is telling you, you have already tapped into your purpose. You've already tapped into that fertile ground, that loving mission in your spiritual gifts. You've already tapped into what makes you hear and taste and smell the sweetness of your life mission, your purpose. Some of you are staying and I feel like some of you are staying in a job that's not happy for you. You're going to stay and be told uh, how much money you're going to be told or that you can make. And it's out of balance. You know it doesn't feel right. You know you're a leader and you're being led. You have to be a follower in that position and it's not. it goes against your energy. Don't do anything out of your integrity. It makes you feel like that. It's toxic. The space is toxic. You're fearing your own expansion, your own success. But honey, it is there. The environment, not enough money. They're not paying you enough. And you're allowing them to tell you, you, you give, I'll give you what you deserve. And that's not you. So it's making you feel negative energy that's not yours. Don't you absorb it. What you're hoping for is that you can start over, that it will be okay for you to go into this new path. It will be. But what you're focused on is the negativity. And so you've got to turn that around yourself to make it this amazing opportunity of wealth, of prosperity, of happiness. And so once you're able to do that and you focus on the possibility and you focus on your dream coming true and you take those plan steps to reach your goal, you are able to start over. You are able to do it the way that spirit wants you to do it. And you're able to do it nimbly, swiftly, craftily, with the expertise that spirit has blessed you with. And you're able to celebrate that. Because either way you put it, Spiritual superstars, excuse me, whether you've been feeding faith or starving faith, your hopes, wishes, and dreams are here for you to make come true. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is the first time uh, Spirit has told me to do this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And so for those of you that are, that know this, your hopes, wishes, and dreams, you're making them things come true this month, okay? You are on it mid-month. That's where your energy is. That's where the new moon is for you. 
and you are going to make those steps. You're going to take that action. You're going to invest in that opportunity. You are going to you're going to sign the documents on that new job. You are going to go in and get that interview. You're going to ask for the interview. You're going to ask for to sit down with the owner of the company to uh, share your opportunity with them. You are going to get those customers. You're going to get those new contracts. You're going to get those clients. You're going to partner up with some powerful people. You're going to grow your business. That's what this one is for. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Please show our dear loves their spiritual guidance. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Well, all right now. My goodness. Woo! Honey. All right. All right. The ones that are feeding fear, you look at this too. Because this is your other, this is your information. This is your energy too. This is how you're going to flip it. Wow. This is so beautiful. You talk about strength. Isn't that third time strength has come out for you, Sagittarius? Incredible. So much power in this reading right here. So much. My goodness. Thank you, Source. Thank you for letting me be used for thy good will and thy good pleasure. What is their hope? Thank you so much. I'm gonna own it. Own it. Own it. All right. Own it. Own it. Own it. Okay. Now, for the other, for the other side of once you are able to flip that energy and start feeding faith, and for the ones that are feeding faith already, honey, you've balanced it out. Find that balance that Spirit was talking about earlier in your spiritual guidance. I can't tell you what was channeled about that, but I do remember balance, harmony, and music. You are definitely not paying attention to the false lies, the lies that are out there coming from other people, coming from your circumstances, the nightmares. When you're waking up, you know that you've got to start planning. When you wake up 3 to 5 a.m., when you wake up at 1 a.m., when you wake up, out of a nap, you know that, oop, oop, I got to go and start automatic writing. Look out for the video that we'll have on automatic writing because, honey, this means something to you. Working from home, having that happiness, having the legacy income, having the financial security, having the generational wealth, having the property, having the all smiles, being able to come back together when you have disharmony, letting it not last long in your home. Letting there be strong health and wellness in your home is yours. And you are sitting on that right now. And let me tell you something. You are the one that has the Midas touch. I mean, everything you touch is golden. And yes, you do own it because what? Who strengthens your back? Who's got your back? Absolutely, Divine Source. And you know that through the words you speak and the actions that you take, you are so blessed. And so, no, you're not fearing your own success. What you're doing is saying, you know what, I'm going out there and I'm going to make this happen. I have made the decision to go long and far and wide and to just pour my energy into my future. And I'm going to do that. And I know that there's going to be a delay out there. And I'm going to hang back and I'm going to move when I'm told to move. And I'm going to deal with the energy and I'm going to ebb and flow with the universe and how the universe says go and I'm going to meditate and I'm going to love this flow that I'm in and I'm going to be a shrewd businessman a shrewd businesswoman and I'm not going to let that negativity get to me and I'm going to be okay with the changes that I have to make. Because even though it's going to be rough. In some aspects of self. I'm not going to love making the changes that I got to make. But I do know this. That I'm sitting on my hopes, wishes and dreams. And I'm going to make them come true. Because with God. Nothing is impossible. 
And I know that everything that's making me feel less confident, that's making me come out with a, a barracuda mouth when I know that's not me, those are lies because none of these daggers can touch me. And I know that all of those fears are unfounded. They are dubious at best. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. And you don't have to fall in love with it. You know, the Page of Cups is very romantic, proposal, engagement, and all of that. You don't have to fall in love with the process right now. What's more important is that you understand that sometimes the process is rough and you've got to peel away from that, that when we want to have that dreamland part of it, when we want that honeymoon part of it, and we still got to do it. And so I love that because you're, I still got to do it. I know what my focus is. I love that. Midas touch. When I say you sitting on gold, honey, you sitting on gold. You sitting on so much. I love it. And yes, you can afford to just be crossed like that and uh, legs crossed and be and just be comfortable. I love that. Your spirit animal is the cow. You see why spirit said do two of them today. Do give them both sides of the reading. Is because you can expect miracles to come on in and they are endless. With 15, you've got this new beginning happening in your hopes, wishes, and dreams and in your finances and it is inevitable. Um, and, and with that five, the change is real, it's karmic, and it's going to happen with or without you. Thank you so much. And so this is your affirmation that you're going to write in your journal. You're going to hang on to that this month, and you're going to do something with it and put it into action. I have the attitude of gratitude for the moments of pure happiness I experience each day. And with the cow spirit, and this is going back to balancing it out with that temperance that we saw earlier um, with the cow spirit, you know, and when we balance that energy out, dear loves, it is that work-life balance. It is that, that home and uh, even just doing things for you, being able to self-love and do the work. It is that balance of knowing you're not going to love every aspect, but knowing that you've got to do it anyway. You're at a beautiful point in your life. Your needs are being met effortlessly in so many ways. So fully embrace this truth this month. By focusing on all you have right now, regardless of whether you feel like, dang, why do I have to do this? This energy from the cow spirit is nudging you to pay attention because this is the perfect time to focus on the choices, the actions, the behaviors that you know feed you the soul and bring your heart contentment. You're going to look at your projects and your commitments this month because they were already set into motion in the past and they're going to yield valuable gifts of the promises Divine Source told you about before. Stay positive and share your abundance. Give. But pay attention to how you nourish your mind, body and you the soul within your vessel because right now you might come into October you might move through October like a wobbling little calf that's you know a newborn calf spending too much time over here spending too much time over there letting you yourself be distracted stay safe and healthy and continue to try to find that balance Stop and assess yourself and just remember that everything is happening in divine timing and it's divinely ordained the way the universe wants you to do your part 
The universe, divine source, wants to give you the very best. But you got to do your part, right? So listen to the messages you receive. And just be happy that you are here each and every day. Well, dear Sagittarius, thank you so much. I am totally exhausted after your reading. <laughs> and I love it. I love it because I'm thankful that I'm able to pour into you. And thank you. I thank God for letting me be used for that goodwill and that good pleasure. If there's anything that I can do for you, please click the links down below. I'm happy to do a reading for you that's personalized. And you get your video keepsake and we're going to talk live. Don't you, don't you want to have a conversation with me and let me channel for you? I would love to do that. Well, anyway, have a beautifully blessed month. And thank you so much for holding on to your faith. Because, yes, mid-month, take those actions to manifest the next step in your manifestation. Love you. I'll talk to you.